Hey guys, welcome back to Having Fun. Gil here presenting you something new that we're gonna be doing together, and that is a painting session. Yes, it's going to be another painting session, and I think it's going to be the third one. The third one. It's like six one like that, but it's the third one, and we're gonna be basically painting one of the newest releases that was on this year. Oh, this is crazy. What was the year before? I don't know. Me? I'm kidding, I know what it is. It was released on uh, February 21, and yes, it is one of the collections from Games Workshop, a release from a commemorative celebration of the Black Library. As I posted in my Twitter and Instagram and Facebook groups and accounts, I did something amazing. Uh, when I received the product itself, it was. Uh, I think I didn't do anything like that. Why am I lying? I shouldn't be lying. Okay. The point is that the I love Black Library. I even enjoyed a lot of audiobooks. Uh, uh, audiobooks, and it was amazing. The entire lore and story of the universe itself—it's basically amazing. And let me tell you. It is one of the things I enjoy from Games Workshop because they really sound things different, better, and let me tell you, lore accurate or maybe canon. Oh, who likes likes it well? But in the end, I enjoy it. One of the things that I wanted to buy a commemorative uh, figure that I can paint and enjoy part of the community in the Warhammer universe and the Warhammer community. Sadly, I couldn't even buy the Chaplain uh, Tarantus and I couldn't get it because in that moment I didn't have money for buying it or pre-order it. And when it arrived, it arrived only with pre-order stuff. Like uh, there were a lot, of, like 25 people, like 30 people that uh, pre-ordered the miniature and I couldn't get it because I was like searching late and I didn't have the money. So bad for me. But instead, um, I waited a little bit because I didn't uh, want to spend uh, 30 bucks for another like commemorative for from the Warhammer uh, Age of Sigmar that is the Beer Master or the Brew Master that is a commemorative uh, miniature from that moment. And well, I think thanks from Games Workshop or God, I just got blessed or somehow just got thankful for it because I actually bought. The Black Library commemorative from 2021 that is from this year, the celebration, and it's yes, you guessed it right, it's Uriel Ventries, or as they say, Primaris Captain Uriel Ventries. So we're gonna be doing this paint session, as you know it. First the assembly, and afterwards, how we're gonna be actually painting this big fella. And let me tell you, I'm gonna enjoy it because I'm gonna apply new techniques and some things new to the community that's watching it and we're gonna be enjoying it. So, I'll see you in the painting session, guys! Okay, well, this part I'm showing you guys that you are actually enjoying a little bit of the details of the kit. I'm sh making a show off of the kit itself. And yes, I know that it's maybe a not accurate one, but Many of you will like because of the focus that I gave in the camera and details to pick up on the kit itself from the model. Now we're going to show you another thing that is the manual. The manual itself how to build it. I'm showing you all the pages, also the data of this uh, miniature itself. When you're going to play in a tabletop, I'm taking my time to show you all. You can pause the video if you couldn't watch all of them. Another thing that you can download it and you can even go ahead and look it by yourself. If you are willing to find the data, I'm gonna be leaving the data or sheet, data sheet that's called, of the character down below in the description. Now let's go ahead and show you about the building or assembly and cutting of the kit itself. Now because of many of you will ever think about it, I know. It looks tedious and everything like that, but guys, trust me, it's not a bad time to grab your models and give it a little bit of detail and show enough how to do this beautiful cut here, there, and there to make that beautiful kid look amazing for those people that are watching. Also, I enjoy cutting the 
there were parts from the run uh, from each of the runners i think it's one runner here the the parts itself they look amazing the detail that they gave in this kit is amazing do not forget that before you need to do everything that i show you here i'm gonna be telling you that this kit you need to actually prime it my best way to prime it, all my miniatures is by applying a coat of black primer and then a gray a neutral primer that is between the white and black that is the gray why i'm using gray the gray primer is basically a more neutral color that you will be using all the time and basically will give you all the amount of details for the kit itself now i know this sounds tedious i know it sounds very bad but let me tell you something if you want to catch a more amazing detail use it like that because of the gray primer that when you apply it over the top and some of the areas that you want to apply the highlights those parts that are highlighted in the nature color we're gonna specify a little bit of catching of the highlight from the for example the sun from a lamp or from a focus point of direction from a light source let me tell you this kind of things for me it's making me more visualize and focus on those parts that you need to actually paint and give details of all now if you guys want to go ahead and give your own style of priming go ahead you can either use airbrush systems or you can you can buy the cans you don't need to worry but do not forget if you're using cans shake them before you apply it and if you're using airbrush try to use the most amount of uh, person that is 50 50 or try to search in the web now you can go ahead and tell that it's a uh, another way of uh, using another mixture of, of primer airbrush anti-clogging system and some thinner to it so you can apply it to, to the miniature remember you're gonna need to have a milky consistency when you apply this those kinds of primer and all kinds of colors in the future here in my way i got myself a uh, airbrush system but I'm gonna be actually be using the old style that it's brushes brushes color pots I'm not gonna be airbrushing because I'm still a noob guys I know it sounds bad but I'm still a noob as a noob I cannot be focusing on making so many stuff like everything else now finishing this up let's go ahead and show you the next part that is this one remember that I'm showing you all the paints in a fast way forward so you if you want to watch all the paints you should stop the video and watch each one of the names and try to, to write it down I'm using Vallejo Game Colors paints by the way guys don't forget it Vallejo good move brand now I begin showing you here that I'm using the heavy blue as a primary color base color for the miniature i'm always shaking the paints and everything do not forget about shaking and always always try to focus about the amount of using of paints you don't want to end up with a bad uh, amount of paint over your miniature remember try to apply a thin coat over each one of them you need to apply a little bit of like two coats or maximum three but if you apply like if you apply like four coats or five coats or six coats you're gonna be ended up by clogging all those details in the miniature you don't want that you want that miniature to have a lot of details if you clog those details you're gonna be ended up with a bad actually bad miniature here i'm showing you how you're gonna be applying by just not like uh, pointing it away like just try to stick all the paint there you need to brush it in one solid way for example up down left right if you ended up with the uh, one from the up down you need to end it up with up, up down and then if you want to cover those details that you didn't catch up with the brush 
you can use a little bit of pointing it way like sticking it the pain side but remember try to not apply it much here i'm showing the finish the base coat of the miniatures of each one of the parts that it's the arms legs backpack and base that i show you the base i actually use hammer uh, the copper that is another color from the color itself you are just gonna be applying it as a normal way when you apply the primer and the white and for the catching of the eye light you're gonna be applying with a big brush yes with a big brush also also the part of the bay of the miniature itself i apply it with a uh, big brush so you can cover all the areas now here um in the spark right now I'm actually be applying in light color that is oh yeah I'm applying yellow there is a yellow color that it's khaki or heavy khaki if you're trying to use khaki I will tell you that or no there is gold brown from the base colors yeah game colors gold brown it's a good way to apply it as a base coat before you use metallic colors because let me tell you if you're gonna be applying directly the metallic colors you will not end up with a good eye catching of the metal part that is for example the accessories or the decorations of the kit. I'm also applying it with a thin coat remember apply it with a thin coat if you end up with a bad coat don't worry because after you dry it you can apply a second of the coat. Now here I'm showing you the all the parts applied as I'm showing you here the, the appliance of the gold over the base coat that it was the gold brown and it is looking amazing after you apply the gold color over the parts it's really amazing even the bolter itself i apply the black catch the white and everything some of the parts i, I did i'm sorry i forget because guys i'm really apologizing this because i know that you guys want to see all the painting session tutorial but you know when i'm showing you all the colors you can either catch the colors fastly like this by just uh, grabbing the color that i'm showing you off and then you just um, grab your colors if you have in your houses and from the brands that I showed you and use it there as I showed before the base the base I actually used a silver color to apply over those thin lines those thin lines they were amazing when you apply the the silver color over those part like the like this uh, not like the thin lines over there the spaces that were there and it's actually a very good way to, uh, I should say, to the people that this miniature, this space marine is standing up in a base that has too many colors and everything that I love. Another thing that I'm uh, using uh, here is that moving as well the camera, I'm applying a heavy dar dark, a uh, heavy black green because it will be the base coat before applying the original color over the, the cloak itself of the miniature remember apply a base coat and then apply your original coat that you want for the miniature over the base coat and it will end up with a good eye catching to your people well um guys i wanted to make a little update well this thing right now i finished the painting and everything and yeah i just finished the early painting that is basically the battle ready standard way for me I will leave it in a detailed way because I love the details and everything. If you see this white thing, it's because of the wash that I use, and I think it uh, apply a lot of reasons over the areas that I don't want like that. And I think um, when I'm doing the detailed part of this kit, it will look more amazing. But right now, guys, I finished all the parts, and yeah, as you can see, this will be called out to be like a bed ready wheel bentries. If you want to just leave it like this to play on your tabletop and yeah all the parts have been made it washed away and everything you can just either go ahead and play with it like how it is and you will end up with a good finish picture. now lastly what i'm gonna do guys is now the thing that i show you the detail parts and also the blade i actually just leave the blade like this uh, I just did a little mess up, but I'm gonna fix it with the detail part of the blade with this you know, because when I use a black wash, I did you know that the wash was over related too much, and yeah, I needed to make a little bit of work. So many people will call out that this will look bad as a sword, but I will fix it later. In the end, guys, I think that if you want to be having a battle with the standard wheel bench, 
I actually did it like this and it's amazingly a good job and yeah remember the yellow part I already told you as before and do not forget this is a good way to actually use your yellow over metal parts because for example copper it's brown you can either use brown and then copper on top and then you will end up with a good copper color and if you want a goldish like a bright color you can use um, a yellow and then apply a gold over the top you will end up with a good looking uh, metallic color over the parts lastly the, that was my first thing on making the ultra marmar i think that i made a good job guys by making it and i'm pretty happy with it so in the end the last part that i'm gonna do is show you how to do the detail part of this kit now the detail part is basically like not much of a job it's basically like this and that and apply some highlights over there and that will be all so uh, i will catch you with a little bit and show you how no no i will show you what paint i'm gonna be using so for the blue part if you are using like for example uh balejo colors and everything you can either use glacier blue as your common color so you can highlight those parts as it was from Grecian blue and if you want to use a calga blue you can either use uh, instead of a calga Blue, you can mix the heavy blue and the from and the glacier blue, so you can ha either have the calga blue in the end. Another thing, the bolters. Now, the bolters is one of the things that many of you will call out about how to paint correctly. The bolters you're gonna be using it a uh, uh, sombre gray as color counter of the black, but either if you have a better colorway, you can either use heavy blue gray. So one of the things I'm gonna be applying, I think, uh, between the colors, I'm gonna be experimenting because I never tried the Vallejo colors in the highlight way. I use only the Citadel colors, but I'm gonna try mixing these. If I see that the color itself doesn't work, I'm gonna be telling them I'm gonna be using blue gray over the the parts of the, the miniature kit. And yeah, you can even use blue gray as a cover for the black parts on the weapons and highlight some of the metallic parts like the uh, like the gold parts like there's a highlight and everything like that. Another thing that you're gonna be applying in the highlights of the of the um colors yeah on the gold parts you're gonna be using polish gold in the whole color because those parts that you're gonna be making them sparkle like if they were hidden by the marks you're gonna be printing them into the recess of the parts and I'll be making a focus over the miniature let's make a focus okay it's not focusing got them I hit yeah as you can see in this gold part and everything like that I'm gonna be making in the upper part like for example there and there I'm gonna make those like spike things uh, sh sh shine as a bright and everything like that and that's the, yeah the last part it's the sword that is gonna be making the same and then I'm gonna for the electric part like the electric side of the part of the of the miniature itself I'm gonna be using Vallejo's turquoise and electric blue as a media shirt over the parts and lastly if I'm quite quiet um, with the knowledge of these paints I'm gonna be using yeah maybe. not heavy gray no it's not heavy gray it was a color that I think I think I'm gonna be using this heavy blue gray too uh, well let's say say oh no 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 I'm gonna be using yeah dead white so I can make the like the thunder thunder things shine bright through the weapon like an electric stuff and everything like that and for the green part for example the the, the cloak itself and also the oh, why am I always forgetting this stuff <laughs> come on for the uh, emblems or the so-called uh, marks of the purification seals, the purification seals, yeah, the purification seals. I'm gonna be using 
as I show you, I'm gonna be using bone white as a highlight. And then lastly, what I'm gonna be doing is apply a little bit of the warlock purple over the red parts. And yes, over the face, I'm gonna be using uh, the white, that white, and lastly, a little bit of black. Of black, where it is. Uh, yeah, here. For making the eyes pop out and lastly the lips i'm gonna make the highlight on the lips that it's going to be different i'm gonna be applying a little kind of red with a little combination of highlight with water of purple because remember our lips are red color but they have a highlight of purple and pink at the same time same time so what i'm gonna be using is yeah i'm gonna be using scarlet red as a highlight for the lips and the lips <laughs> I'm, I'm making beatbox guys <laughs> this is my channel for beatboxing <laughs> and lastly um, um, maybe yeah yeah maybe heavy red because yeah our lips are heavy red and the bottom and the top is like uh, purple yeah heavy red skin to be no, not scarlet red scarlet i use for another thing or maybe you know you scarlet i don't know guys i'm really messed up right now <laughs> And for the facial faces, I'm gonna do some highlights over the areas and some of the details, like for example, the scar in the face, like the line on top. I'm gonna be using, remember, for those details, always use your detailed brush, the one with the smallest, smallest, smallest bristle uh, length, and always use it with a certain amount. You don't want to end up. We're gonna be using pale flesh, and I'm gonna be using canyon skin over the parts of the face and lastly as you can see a wheel band just had like a beard it had a beard and I'm gonna be using that as a fighting size so I'm gonna be um, applying a little bit of gray it was I'm gonna be doing a uh, like a dry brush gray gray but it will not be the same way as the others and yes I'm gonna be actually highlighted it with the pale gray as a wash in the bottom, so it will look amazing and everything like that. And I think it was. I think, yeah, it's some gray that you're gonna be using. It's some gray. And. Well, for the. Ah, uh, yeah, forget. For the cloth. For the cloth. I used black, heavy black green as the main color for the base. And lastly, apply a wash with the green wash. Now, the last thing that you're gonna be using as a highlight, I'm gonna be using this combination. Try to remember the colors that I'm gonna be showing you right now. Uh, heavy khaki, heavy khaki, foul green, sick green, and lastly, you're gonna be using dark green. Yeah, those are gonna be the four colors that you're gonna make for the highlight of the armor itself. And yeah, guys, as I'm gonna be painting, you're gonna need a little bit of patience, and I will show you the end of each one of them with the colors that I use. So let's go ahead. So in the end I ended with the finishing product with the detail and everything. This part here that shows up the connection and everything I know that it's but guys this is my own custom way of showing you my appreciation. It's I know it some of you will say that it looks like a bad joke or something or even the head, the face, I know. But at some point, I realized that I shouldn't be mixing too much like uh, coats because I ended up with a mess with the eyes because I don't have a super, super small, small, more smaller detail brush for the eye bits and that's one of the things that I got an issue. Because of that, I needed to get rid of the paint and I needed to apply new paint over it and it looks bad joke, uh, as a bad joke. Uh, but in the end, I actually love it. The, coat itself I give you the details as I told you about the three color greens and everything follow with the power energy sword that I gave it the detail that was my first try I think it came out pretty well and my first try but I think I should have to go and buy a, a small more small smallest detail brush the smallest I can find because I need to do these details and they should look better and better but lastly I actually enjoy it if you like and want to go ahead and paint your own style, go ahead and follow it. It's basically with all those Vallejo paints that I showed you before, with those paints you can either 
have this amazing model ended up very very beautiful so guys hope you enjoy and see you in, catch you in the next video goodbye <music>